so today's been a hard day. We woke up and our car was leaking um, coolant, so we've had to deal with that. We got towed away and now it's fixed and that's all good, but we're also dealing with another leak in the house, been all over the house, and uh, we don't mind it because we can actually take the leak and teach it to leak outside. This is Hal, our little leak. Hi, say hi, say hi. The newest member of our family, we got her a little under a week ago and she's just been loving it. We've been showing her the garden and today me and Hal are going to harvest the, all the carrots and all the kurabi and we have a big old kale plant we have to rip out because it's got overrun by earwigs and that's really gross. Isn't it girl, hmm? Oh, I love you. Yes, I do. Okay, so we're gonna get started on that. Okay, so that's what I mean. You guys can see all of this kind of dying off rotten stuff. Um, very, very gross. I want it out because it's even starting to smell like rotten cabbage and that is disgusting. You helping Hallie? Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you wanna let it go little. Good girl. Good girl, Hallie. Good girl. Hallie, where'd the kale go? Yeah, no, that's that kale. You wanna help Daddy? Come on. You gotta pick carrots now. Huh? You wanna pick carrots with me? Come on. <laughs> yes, a purple carrot. Yeah, look at that. Those beautiful roots, though. Oh, hi, hi. Hi, yeah, I caught a film. Okay, so I wanted to give a little breakdown on this beautiful plant, which is kurabi. Now, if you haven't grown kurabi, once you snip it right at the soil base, this is what it looks like, and you eat the bulb. You can also eat the leaves, but if you wanna eat the bulb, all you have to do is, if you're growing it, take off the leaves. Whenever you buy these in the store, usually they already have the leaves taken off. And then you will peel this, and then on the inside, it has a really nice white flesh that is beautiful in soups, stews, roasting it. I haven't even touched the surface with how much you can do with kurabi, and it's such a beautiful flavor. It's kind of like a really light turnip flavor, um, but a nice crispness to it. I've tried this raw recently, and it was delicious. Hi, Hal. Here, be careful, I got pruners here. It's honestly such a versatile vegetable that isn't used enough, and also, it's ridiculously easy to grow. I honestly, I couldn't up this plant anymore. It's a delicious vegetable to grow in your garden. Look at our harvest, look at it. Magnificent. <laughs> okay, this was a crazy harvest. Look how many carrots. This is on top of all of the carrots my nieces and nephews picked. So I'm so happy because I, de I, de I designated such a small space to carrots because I haven't had great luck with carrots in the past. But I don't know what turned around this year because I'm so happy. The kurabi harvest, I did pick them all out. I didn't get that many, but I have some really good sized bulbs there. So I'm just really happy. Yes, oh, I know you want to sniff all the carrots. Um, uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. And also, 
thank you for letting me introduce you to Hal here because she is such a sweetheart and of course she'll be in a plenty more videos. Um, and I just want to say stay planting or stay harvesting and uh, enjoy your garden. Till next time.